Hello students, welcome back to our next online class. In the pre previous lecture, we studied about even and odd numbers and the formation of numbers through digits. Today, we are going to cover a new topic that is the face value and place value. What is face value? Face value is the digit itself. Suppose we have a number 66. We have two 6 here. And the face value of both the 6 is 6, no matter what is the position of the digit. The place value is the value of the digit according to its place or position in the number. So the place value depends on the position where the digit is placed in the number. In the number 66, we have 2 6. The place value of first 6 is six tens and the place value of the second six is six ones. Six tens means sixty and six ones is six itself. So the place value is depending upon the position of the six placed in the number but the face value does not depends upon the position where it is placed. We have the place values thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. When we move from 1 to 10, the digit gets multiplied by 10. When we move from 10 to 100, again the digit gets multiplied by 10. When we are moving from 100 to the ten, thousands position, the digit is once again multiplied by 10. So we see as we move towards the left, the digit is getting multiplied by 10 and the place value of the digit is increasing. And another important point is the place value and face value of the digit in the ones place are equal. Suppose I have the number 124. The number in the ones place is 4 here. So, the face value of 4 is 4 and the place value of 4 is also 4. 4 is in the 1's place. The face value and place value of the number in the 1's place are equal. 168. The number in the 1's place is 8 here. The face value of 8 is 8 as the face value is the number itself. And the place value of 8 is also 8 because it is in the 1's position. So, the place value and face value of a digit in the 1's place are equal. Now, I am going to explain the place value and face value through some examples. Suppose we have a number 1, 4, 2, 8. Now, I am going to give the place to the digits in the number ones, tens, hundreds and thousand. Now the face for the face value and place value, first we are going to take one. Face value as I told you is the number itself. So the face value of one will be one. And the place value since it is kept in the thousands place, so the place value is 1000. The next number is 4. The face value of 4 will be 4. But the place value of 4 will be 400 as it is kept in the hundreds position. The next number digit is 2. The face value of 2 will be 2. And the place value of 2 is 2 tens or 20. The last digit that is 8. The face value of 8 will be 8. And the place value of 8 is also 8. So you can see that the face value is the number itself but the place value is according to the position it is placed in the number 
the place value of 1 is 1000 but the face value is 1 which is the number itself the fa face value of 4 is 4 but the place value is 400 the face value of 2 is 2 but the place value is 20 the face value of 8 is 8 but the place value is also 8 so in the ones position the place value and the face value are the same. Now, let us find the face value and place value of another number which is 5070. First, let us give the place to these numbers. This is the ones place. This is the tens place. This is the hundreds place. And this is the thousands place. Now, we are going to find the face value of 5 first the face value of 5 is 5 and the place value of 5 is 5000 because 5 is in the thousands position what about 0 the face value of 0 is 0 and the place value of 0 is also 0. No matter what the position or place is, the place value of 0 is always 0. Next is 7. The face value of 7 is 7 and the place value of 7 here is 70. Now I have 0 again. The face value of 0 is 0 and the place value of 0 is also 0. So you can observe that the place value and face value of 0 is always 0. The place value is 0 because 0 of anything is always 0. So no matter at what position it is placed, the place value of 0 is always 0. The next number is 8888. Eight, eight, eight. There are 4 8 in the number. First, we are going to give the place again. Ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Now, we are going to give the face value and place value to these digits. The first 8 here. The face value will be 8 and the place value will be 8000. The second 8, the face value is 8 and the place value is 800 at, as it is placed in the hundreds position. The third one. The face value is 8 and the place value is 80. The last 8 which we have here is in the 1's position. The face value is 8 and the place value is also 8. So we can see that there are 4 8 in the number. The face values of each 8 is the same. But the place value of each 8 is different. So we see that the position of the digit is the num in the number has great importance. At what place the digit is placed in the number. In the ones position, tens, hundreds or thousands one. Now, can you tell me the face value and place value of the digits in the number 9119? Now, let me once again start by giving them a place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. The first digit is 9 here. The face value of 9 is 9 and the place value is 9,000. The second digit is 1. The face value of 1 is 1 and the place value of this 1 is 100. 
Now we have another one in the number whose place value is 1 but the place value is 10. The last digit which we have is 9. The face value of 9 is 9 and the place value is also 9 as it is placed in the 1's position. So we see that there are 2 9's and 2 1's in the number. The face value of 2 9's are similar but the place value of these 2 9's are different. Same with 1. There are 2 1 in the number. They have the same face value but their place value is different. So it is of utmost importance where the digit is placed in the number. The place value depends upon the position where it is placed in the number and the face value is the number itself. So do practice more till you get them all correct. Now let's have some fun. We are going to recite the place value chant. I don't know what I've been told. The values are digits whole. First we look to the right and see the ones shining bright. Next we move one spot left. Tens are there. They are the best. If you move one spot more, you'll see hundreds we adore. If you keep on going, next we'll find the thousands growing. working the place value through abacus first we should know what an abacus is an abacus is a manual calculator which has rolling beads which represent numbers. So the rows of beads, they represent the digits in different numbers. They have the place value ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Now let us understand the place value through abacus. We have thousands, hundreds, tens and ones. What number is shown on the place value abacus here? In the thousands place, we have three beads. So, the number for thousand is three thousand. Then comes the hundreds place. There is one bead in the hundreds place. So, the number here will be one hundred. Next is the tens position. We have two beads here, so the number for tens place will be 20. And the last is the ones position. There are two beads here also, so the number here will be 2. The number formed by these beads are, which is shown on the abacus, 3122. Next number shown on the place value abacus is there is one bead here in the thousands position. So the number for thousands place will be 1000. For hundreds we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 hundreds here. But there is no bead here. So no number at the tens position. The last is the ones. There are three beads here. So the number will be three. The number shown on the place value abacus here is 1803. Number is shown on the place value abacus here. There are three beads in the thousands position. So, the number for thousands place will be 3000. There is no bead in the ones position, so there will be no number here. Next is the tens position. 
we have three beads here. So the number for tens place will be 30. Ones position has two beads. So the number here is two. The number shown on the place value abacus here is 3032. Hope you have understood the concept of place value and place value. Do practice at your homes and make sure that you do the worksheet which has been provided to you. Thank you.